or live in a nightmare, vote for Trump. I don't care as long as it's not you know who. The guy is a total monster. <laughs> Such a mean, nasty, hateful person. You won't be on the show anymore. He'll come looking for me. That's what happens in that kind of a dictatorship, which is what he says. He hates Mexicans. He's a sociopathic, psychopathic, malignant narcissist. And he hates black people. Vote for Biden and you'll we'll be back to normalcy. What is good, YouTube family? It's a war shot. We back again with the black anomaly rising channel. So we got to talk about Trump Durain's Robert De Niro. So this guy, I'm sure a lot of y'all remember Meet the Parents from back in the day. I believe that came out like in the 90s and then the Meet the Fockers movie. And there's other movies. Obviously, Robert De Niro is a pretty freaking popular actor. At least he was. Obviously, now he is washed up and his legacy and career is over. And he has developed a crippling sense of Trump derangement. So it's a very bad case incurable probably okay and some people might call it terminal because he cannot get over this okay it doesn't matter how much sleep he gets doesn't matter how many facts he gets he still trump deranged so he is talking to bill maher and basically he's going on this rant about how he's sociopathic he's narcissistic right he's saying all of this ridiculous stuff and he cannot comprehend why trump is winning so without further ado let's go ahead and react to this the bottom line is it's Biden versus Trump. We want to live in a world that we want to live in and enjoy living in or live in a nightmare. Vote for Trump and you'll get the nightmare. Vote for Biden and you'll we'll be back to normalcy. Yeah, so I want to just stop this right here and say what actually happened besides J6, which has been debunked. There's a whole playlist on this channel where I debunk the J6 narrative, but with the exception of that, which literally happened after the election, okay, it was in January, and Trump was already on his way out of office. What actually happened that Trump that did that was so freaking wrong? That was a nightmare. Like, what the hell happened? Okay, like, did he make the George Floyd thing happen? Was that Trump's fault or something? Like, what did what did he do? Like, we had uh, like record employment levels. Uh, the dollar amount went way further. Like we didn't have all these inflation issues, immigration, housing market good. What did Trump do wrong? Let's keep going. So, so why is Trump winning? I mean, the poll, the New York Times poll this week came out, and maybe this will change it with the State of the Union address. But it, but Trump was beating him rather soundly. It was quite a warning light, 48 to 43. Also winning way more among women, women than he had before. Winning outright Latinos. What, what do you attribute that to? Look, Trump derangement incoming in three, two. I don't know. I, I just don't want to feel the way I did, and many many of us don't. Look, this is the problem with guys like this. You saw how he just answered he doesn't know. There's people like me. There's tons of other channels. There's people on the news. Hell, Bill Maher could probably, maybe he explains it to him later in this clip. There's countless people who tell you why they support Trump. Okay, we don't want open borders, and we want a good economy. Those are the main things. There's all you can get in other stuff too, but those are the main things. You just want stuff to be straight on the homeland, America first agenda. You don't want U Ukraine, uh, just endless spending in an unwinnable Ukraine war, where unless we put boots on the ground, and even then it's all debatable whether or not we could win. And we don't want open borders, and we want a good economy. We don't want crazy inflation, endless spending. It's like, what do you mean you don't know? Mr. De Niro, how the hell don't you know? We've been tell telling you, but for years. You don't think if you have this level of derangement that maybe you should investigate, well, why do people support Trump? Guys like this don't know and don't care. After the election in, 19, in uh, 2016, uh, where we Joe couldn't Biden believe going. that it happened. The guy is a total monster. And uh, anybody, I don't understand it. The, I guess they get behind that kind of logic. They want to 
with people, screw them, because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean, nasty, hateful person. I, I, I'd never pay, play him as an actor. I mean, did anybody see Joe Biden's State of the Union address where he literally uh, demonized the Supreme Court, uh, compared Trump to Hitler, uh, demonized Trump supporters? I mean, demonized Trump himself numerous times. I mean, this is not hateful or mean. I mean, you're literally pressuring the Supreme Court uh, in front of everybody, including all of the American people, as if they did something wrong instead of actually respecting the court, right? Instead of respecting your political opponents, trying to lock up your political opponents, they don't care anything about any of the stuff that they've said. All these people talking about hitting them. Now you got Charles Barkley, uh, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, and there's whole video compilations on YouTube and TikTok and Twitter with people talking about wanting to attack Trump, shoot him, all kinds of stuff. Politicians saying this, not regular people on the street, politicians. And this guy talks about somebody being mean. Because he's, I can't see any good in him. Nothing, nothing at all, nothing redeemable in him. Um, and we have to, and whoever the people are who want to vote for him, and there look like intelligent people around there. So, I mean, for some reason, it can't be. It cannot be. Have you ever it's, considered that maybe, Robert, we're more intelligent and informed than you? I do videos on this channel every damn day. And I'm actually trying to inform, along with trying to obviously be entertaining too, but I'm actually trying to inform with a lot of this stuff and dispel a lot of these phony narratives with the truth. Okay, add a little razzle dazzle in there to spice it up, but it's still the truth. Robert De Niro is literally saying, well, I don't really know. I just feel like Trump's a really bad guy. And I mean, he's just, I don't get it. And some people seem like they're pretty smart and they support Trump. Why? Why are smart people supporting Trump Mr. De Niro, why? You never, he doesn't even think about it. He said multiple times he doesn't. No, he's not trying hard enough. He is, he wins the election. He, you won't be on the show anymore. He'll come looking for me. He'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll be, there'll be things that happen that none of us can imagine. So Trump has been president before four years. Uh, Bill Maher never got arrested. Um, I never got put back in chains and put on a slave ship back to Africa. Um, you know, we didn't become subservient to uh, the whites, uh, like many people said. Okay, there was never any camps. But you know what did happen? Uh, Joe Biden tried his OSHA mandate to force vaccination on everyone. You couldn't leave your house, right? You could not evict if you had somebody in your house but oh, the banks could still uh, take mortgage payments from you. And if you didn't pay, they would take your house. Oh, but don't worry, don't worry, because the government would turn around and buy your foreclosed house and uh, just give it away, turn it into some sort of HUD house or some other nonsense so that people like uh, that were extremely poor or illegals could live in the house. But Donald Trump is the problem. He's the one that's gonna be the evil big bad dictator. Um, that's what happens in that kind of a dictatorship, which is what he says. Let's believe him. Take him at his word. I did from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I said from the very beginning, this guy is never going to concede power. And he still hasn't. No. He still hasn't. He still hasn't. Donald Trump is literally not in office. He's winning. He's winning elections fair and square. Like, what, what are these guys smoking? <laughs> he literally just won all of these caucuses and primaries on Super Tuesday. So how is he not conceding power? He's not, he hasn't been in office. When it came time for him to leave, he left the office. I don't understand. That's one thing that people cannot get around in conversation. Okay, when it came time for Trump to leave, did he just, did he just sit in his chair and gather his military around him and say, no, we're not leaving? Or did he say, eh, well, all right, screw you guys, but I'm leaving. No, he left. So what the hell are y'all talking about? Admitted, admitted he lost the last election, and he advertises that he will go on. He, think, he says he's been cheated out of one term, so maybe we should get rid of the only, a president only gets two terms thing. So He's a sociopathic, did, psychopathic, malignant narcissist. Did,
Yeah. He's, he is a dangerous person. Did, did and we have to real people realize a lot of people this audience, but the people who somehow think he's going to be the answer to their prayers, whatever those are. Did you know God him knows. When, when, as fellow New Yorkers? Never wanted to know him. <gasps> Never wanted to? No. You must have crossed. He was an idiot. <laughs> okay, so this, th there you go right there, okay? This pretty much sums it up right here. This guy doesn't know anything about Trump. He never wanted to meet Trump. He probably doesn't care for any Trump supporters, doesn't care about the talking points. His mind is made up with the little bit of information that he has and additional information is not something that he's open to. He's not open to listening to anyone or meeting anyone. That pretty much sums it up. This is Trump derangement in a nutshell. This is how the majority of people are. Sure, everybody can't fit into the box because there are some people that are more informed, obviously, than this numbskull. But for the most part, this is generally par for the course. This is how Bill Maher is. Bill Maher is obviously much more informed than this idiot. However, Bill Maher is the same. He argues things that Trump has said that he hasn't. Uh, Trump has said and done things, and Bill Maher argues he didn't. This is how these people operate. Is delusional is outside of reality. <laughs> he, he was a clown. He was a clown in New York. And uh, New Yorkers say, you know, some would go with him, of course, people who, who work in what he does, some of them. But it's just, he's a classic bully. If you had a schoolyard and he walked in and he had the, his bully friends around, the other people decide whether they want to oppose him or they want to let him just tell them what to do and, and, and own that the schoolyard or the basketball court or whatever it is. He's got to be stopped. Okay, so there you go. Trump derangement 101 this is the classic case. Now, I mean, for most people, is I found that it's incurable when you have a case that's this bad. But... Who's being bullied here? Like, you're talking about a guy who they tried to remove from the ballot. They got all of these ridiculous civil cases where there's no victim, made-up charges, no uh, witnesses on, for anything, um, but they're still trying to clown him for, with, with that. You got this ridiculous stuff going on with uh, Fonnie Willis and all of these charges in the state of Georgia, right? Like, there's so many different things with Trump where people are trying to get him like Letitia James. Uh, I'm going to get Donald Trump. I'm going to, Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a real pain in the ass. That's what she said. Trump didn't say that about her and anybody else. He, she said that about him. If anybody is being a hater or a bully, they're bullying him. They're trying to uh, weaponize the, the court systems against him and take, take all his money, picking on his kids making fun of his wife, making fun of his hair. Who's the real bully here? And you can see how people like this operate, nothing about policy and, you know, nothing about the economy, the immigration situation, inflation, the wars. Like, this guy didn't talk about none of that. None of it. He just said, basically, well, from what I've seen, I don't like Trump's personality and I'm not interested in talking to him or learning anything about him. I don't even know why people support him. I just know that I can't stand him. That's all he has to say. These are, this is reality, guys. This is why, this is one of the reasons I have this channel. And I wasn't a big Trump fan originally, too. I never thought, like, to this level of crazy, because this is just insane. But I wasn't a big fan of Trump originally. After I, you know what, actually paid the F attention and realized that he was supporting a lot of things that I supported, like God, <laughs> right? Like uh, not having this immigration situation go rampant, a great economy and business. As a young entrepreneur myself, why the hell would I not want things to be great for me to grow my small business? Okay, it's already hard enough out here. I don't need additional regulation and taxes and inflation and all of this freaking BS, all this political nonsense and a bunch of illegal immigrants coming in and screwing up the economy that way, it's especially they putting all the illegal immigrants in black communities, right? 
because those are mainly the sanctuary cities, not all of them, but mainly some of these big sanctuary cities. Why the hell would I want that from the Democrats? What the hell is the Democrats doing that actually supports people like me, much less people like y'all? But this guy doesn't care about any of that. As you can see, he didn't talk about any of that. Okay, so this just shows you right here, you need to do your own research. Either follow my channel and I keep putting out as many updates as I can, but absolutely actually look into what the people support. Robert De Niro and anybody who is a Robert De Niro fan, look into what is actually supported from a policy perspective. Not necessarily just, oh, Donald Trump said this and it sounds bad because MSNBC says it sounds bad. No, what is the actual policy when it comes to that ridiculous border bill? What's in this so-called bipartisan border deal? Why don't Republicans support it? Not just, oh, well, they just want Trump to win. Obvious, it's, it's obvious. They just want Trump to win. Don't come at it from a position of, well, uh, the Republicans are bad, so of course the Republicans are doing bad things. No, come at it from a position of what's in the bill. Do you support what's in the bill? Ukraine funding, do you support it? Because that was in the bill. No? Well, why did the Democrats put that in there? These are the questions that need to be asked. People like Robert De Niro are never going to ask it because the Trump derangement has taken complete control. And unfortunately, there's probably no way to cure it except for a staunch kick in the ass by Donald Trump in this next election. Four more years, maybe that'll cure it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly Rising Channel. I'm out. Remember the Women's March? We're gonna march! I have a vagina! I have a vagina! Oh.